Take five, the ballad of David K. M. L. S. <laughs> I'll tell you all the story of Dave K. M. L. S. He led students to protest a bureaucratic mess. And I'll tell you of the proxies, the ones that were to blame. Overseen by the OCT, their neglect brought such shame. In the archive, in the library, President David K. was known. He spoke with many hundreds, with a mind that was his own. But he would not close his eyes when the proxy was down. So he tried to move the students to tweak our crown. He met with QC Lissa, who wanted to make things better. They decided to write up a strongly worded letter addressed to the provost, the octand of dean, whoever could influence the bureaucratic machine. His friends and teachers warned him he was heading for a fall. If he spoke against bureaucracy, he had no chance at all. But he left away their warnings and set up a damn Google group. Set a date to demonstrate and meet in the I building loop. He circulated a petition and collected 90 names. Got a list of students who were not too ashamed. Sent a strongly worded letter to the provost and the dean. Tried to chip away at the bureaucratic machine. The proxy was the problem. Students couldn't work at home. They couldn't print or download an article or tome. But most complaints were ignored or fell on deaf ears. The list faculty was perplexed but gave silent cheers. At a faculty meeting to which he was invited, David K. presented them and with ten gripes he cited, We students have a problem and we think it is a crime. Professor S. replied, You're just wasting our time. <laughs> with no faculty support, they concocted Plan B to defiantly combat all the apathy on behalf of their 500 fellow students. QC Lissa threatened that they'd all become truants for one hour only of student privacy complaints would be forwarded to the provost, newspapers, and a saint. Meanwhile, a bravely group of seven would meet at five to three and head to Oct's office to save the proxy. With four Oct reps and one essay's office judge, the arguing began and the students had a grudge. Sal shouted out, somebody should be fired, and President David K. Boy, was he inspired. <coughs> uh. The bad cop had spoken and the mad cop was prepared to go point by point to make sure it was repaired. For the problem with the proxy was students couldn't print or save. It was unacceptable and the act was depraved. Dave K pulled out a packet, 80 pages of student gripes, arranged by systems computers, and even browser types. He took Ox browser to their home site and stated, look, even your home help page is four years outdated. Proxy access to the articles is exactly what we need. We paid you all our money, so it's not about our greed. Your converging technologies has reduced us to our knees. Can't you see we're serious? Fix the proxy, please. Finally, Pirate Jenny, who hadn't said a word, she cleared her throat and sweetly said in a voice we all heard, the reason why we're mad and the reason we're all nervous is you have failed us in simple customer service. And so the meeting was over and the act of taking notes, the students felt so happy they all began to gloat. For students had spoken and shown collective power, the act of limited time, and this was their finest hour. Hey, you bureaucracy, you bureaucracy, I've seen what you've done. I've seen the lives you've ruined and the ones you've tried to run. But the one thing I have learned is the only ones you spare are those that do not play along and those that do not care. QC Lissa fought the act, and the act finally lost. The students paid the price, and they figured out the cost for the leader of the movement, President David K. Prove to everybody that the students are here to stay. 48 hours later, when all was said and done, the proxy service was replaced with a working one. And to celebrate students' hard work and all the heartache at the next student meeting, they all ate cake for the students in small numbers. 
For the students in small numbers will never be denied The bureaucratic blame machine must forever be decried And even in a public university, school, or college The lesson of the song is found in every student's knowledge The lesson of the song and the meaning of the rhymes Students can't be ignored if they're not student mimes And in retrospect, the lesson, the lesson of the game Is to share all the credit and get someone to take the blame QC Lissa fought the act, and the act finally lost The students paid the price, and they figured out the cost For the leader of the movement, President David K Proved to everybody that the students are here to stay